make sure that you are aware of what is happening in this in these fields so that whenever something good happens whenever some, something revolutionary happens you can literally just tap into that, that market invest as much money or invest your resources into it and then see your wealth grow hello everyone i'm ishan sharma and in today's video we're talking about the biggest opportunities that 2020 and this and this decade is going to create so make sure that you watch to watch to the end and let's get started so uh, I, I don't know if you know this or not but 2020 and 2019 has all been has always been about you know shopify amazon fba um, what do you call it? Uh, influencer marketing, TikTok marketing, um, and everyone talks about Instagram marketing and, and and you know email marketing has been going along from the law from the last decade and stuff. And so a lot of people talk about these things. And what I really realize that not many people are talking about the the big thing that is happening right now, the biggest in innovation that is going to create so much wealth that you cannot even imagine about it, right? I'm talking about the wealth like a wealth that can actually create a, a person like Jeff Bezos or a person like Elon Musk. Okay, that is the kind of wealth that I'm talking about. Let me actually tell you what I'm, I'm talking about exactly, okay? And for that, we'll have to go to the board, all right? So let's jump right into it. And now for context, let me actually take you back to the second industrial revolution. And let me show you the four people that were the richest at that time, And okay? And what kind of field that they were working on, right? Let me do, do that. So in the second industrial revolution, there were four people that I can remember of, okay? I love uh, studying a lot of uh, history, and I think that history repeats itself often. And so this is my hypothesis on this. So we had Vanderbilt, okay? Vanderbilt, we had Rockefeller, we had Andrew Carnegie, and we also had JP Morgan, okay? These were the four richest people at that time. They had enormous, uh, improportional levels of wealth, and they just had insane amount of power. Okay, now obviously uh, back at that time the, the rules were not that strict so they could do some sort of corruption and some sort of unfair means and so they got lucky. But now let me just tell you what they were doing. Vanderbilt, as you might know, was into railroads. Uh, Rockefeller, Rockefeller over there was actually onto oil. Now, now Rockefeller was doing oil and Carnegie was doing steel as you guys might know and JP Morgan was into electronics. Now this is what drove every single industry towards explosion, okay? This is what literally drove everything in. and especially the, elec the electricity. Now if you look at the quality of life and how quick the growth and, uh, and revolution was happening in, in, human, uh, in human history, this is how the graph really looked like, okay? It, it, it was like it was going here, here, here and then elect electricity happened. It went all the way up to here, right? This was the chart, the, this was the rough chart that happened. Right? And these are the people that were the leaders in, this specific, in, the, in their specific fields, right? And these are over here. And they actually exploited every single part of this particular industry. And this is what actually led them to becoming the, the richest people in the world at that period of time. Now, now let me explain to you why did I really even explain to you that old thing that happened 100 years ago, okay? So right now, according to me and what uh, I've been reading in the news and what's happening in the world, the four biggest things like the railroads, the oil, the steel, and the electricity that was uh, the, the second industrial revolution main thing. The current thing that is actually going to drive the next biggest revolution is going to be this. It's going to be about 3D printing, right? 3D printing. It's going to be genetics, okay? Genetics. And it's going to be nanotechnology. And at the end, it's going to be AI. This is the biggest revolution out there. This, according to me, is the biggest revolution out there. Right, AI is going to be the biggest thing over here, among these, and it's literally going to take every over, everything over here together, and then it's going to create a huge, a huge evolution in the market. This is the biggest thing that's going to happen in the next decade. Now, if you can tap into this market, it is going to be amazing for you right now. If you can grab this opportunity to actually get into these industries, there is a possibility of earning tremendous amounts of wealth over here. AI is going to be the next big thing. Then that does not mean that you have to learn to code or you have to start to learn uh, how to make 3D printers or maybe you have to learn biology or nanotechnology. I mean, they are great, okay? Me personally, I'm learning a artificial intelligence every single day. I'm trying to build better models. I'm trying to look into how I can do something good into the field of AI because that is the next big thing, okay? That is the thing that is going to take humanity forward, okay? But that is not what you have to do, okay? You don't, you don't necessarily have to code or do any of these, learn how to do any of these skills to be you know, to be to be great at it, right? What I'm actually going to tell you is that you have to look out for the opportunities, all right? Let's talk about the iPhone that came out. Now, you don't have to learn to make the iPhone. You have to learn how to build an app, right? So, for example, you have to learn to build WhatsApp. You have to learn to build uh, maybe Uber. You have to learn to build Instagram. And, and if you can do that, you can just create trillion dollar apps, right? 
like Facebook Inc., the, the WhatsApp, the, the Twitter, and all of these are, are, are so famous and, and they are so highly worth. They didn't done the market really early and that is what really resulted in them creating enormous levels of wealth and power right now. Imagine you actually go to the grocery store and there is an artificial intelligence bot that is going to offer you the grocery and that is going to uh, make the bill for you. Okay, And the, the kind of grocery that you have, those, those plants were actually grown due to genetically modified crops. And, and the meat that you buy was made due, due to 3D printing. I mean, this is the kind of weird shit that could actually happen, right? We no, more, we no longer have to uh, kill uh, you know, animals to actually generate meat. We could literally just, just make our own by using 3D, 3D technology and some other stuff that, that I'm talking about, okay? And nanotechnology is going to be there. Genetics is going to be huge. These are the fields that are actually going to take traction in the next coming up decade. And that is why it is so important to tap into these markets before they get stagnated and before there's, there's competition over here. Let me take you, let me give you an example of Gary Vaynerchuk. He didn't know how to code, okay? But he was smart enough to understand personal, the, the behavior of people. And so he invested into, into Uber, into Tumblr, into Facebook. And that is why he's so successful right now. All right, now by no means I'm saying that you should not try to do digital marketing. You should not, you shouldn't try doing uh, some sort of funnels. All I'm trying to say, tell you right now is that you have to be aware of the next big thing that is, ha that is happening. And that is the four things, 3D, genetics, nanotechnology, and AI. Make sure that you are aware of what is happening in this in these fields so that whenever something good happens, whenever some, something revolutionary happens, you can literally just tap into that, that market, invest as much money or invest your resources into it and then see your wealth grow. Now, I hope you learned something today in this episode. Uh, let me know what, was your, what, what are your thoughts on it by, by, by you know, commenting in the comment section below. And yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.